Hey friends, my name is Z, and you're watching He Makes It Easy. And welcome to a new lesson for Design Technology Timbers for the core content. And today we have 1.12, which is Timbers. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe 1.12.1 natural timbers for hardwoods, 1.12.2 natural timbers softwoods, 1.12.3 manufactured timbers, and 1.12.4, which is properties, which includes these. So we'll check out the pain comment in the comment section for all the timestamps. And we'll move on with hardwoods first. And hardwoods come from deciduous trees with broad leaves, and hardwood trees take a long time to grow, around 60 years. This means that they are rarely planted and very expensive. The majority of hardwood grow in tropical regions such as Amazonian climates, while other, others grow in temperate climates such as Europe. Their growth rings are much smaller than softwoods, making the grains closer. Oak, beech, birch, ash are found in the European climate. And oak, right here, it's a moderate brown color with unique and attractive green markings. Advantage is that it's tough and durable, and it polishes well, it's used for quality furniture, and it has an attractive grain when well finished. Disadvantage should be inexpensive, it's becoming rarer, and it's harder to work with than some woods, and it corrodes iron and steel. Applications could be buildings, houses, boats, and in the past, but it's now used for high-end furniture. Mahogany has a dark reddish color and has a very close grain, and it cuts and polishes easily, and it's a very attractive finish. And but disadvantage should be it's expensive, and oils on wood can give skin rash or breathing problems. And applications could be high-quality furniture, windows, and jewelry boxes. Then we have beech and balsa. Beech has a slight pink tint, close grain, and it's tough, durable, hard, it's smooth to finish. This advantage should be inexpensive and it's not resistant to moisture, and it's not suitable for exterior, therefore, because of the moisture. And applications could be toys or laminated furniture or cooking implements. Balsa, could be, balsa is pale and white space green due to it being a fast growing hardwood. An advantage should be it's very soft and easy to form and cut, and it's relatively lightweight. Disadvantage should be it's way too soft and weak for most products, and applications could be model making or primary school projects. Then we have softwood. Softwood comes from uh, coniferous trees with needle-like leaves that normally stay on during the winter, just like um, Christmas trees. Larch is an exception as it loses its needle-like leaves during the winter. Softwoods naturally grow in colder regions such as alpine climates, and softwood trees grow quickly so their growth rings are wider, making the grain wider. This ability to grow quickly means that the softwood trees can be used for timber after 20 to 30, sorry it's a typo, 20 to 30 years, making them cheaper than hardwood. So pine is pale colored with aesthetically pleasing grain. Advantage should be it's uh, uh, very durable and it's easy to work with, and it's cheap as it grows quickly. And disadvantage should be it can warp crack or splinter more than some other woods. Applications could be house construction for roof joints and floorboards, and as well as furniture, doors, fences, and all this stuff over here. Uh, cedar is lightweight, pale color with even texture. An advantage could be that the natural oils make it resistant to water and fungal growth, and disadvantage is that it's more expensive than pine, and it's not as strong as pine. But the applications will include outdoor furniture and fences and these boats over here. Then we have 1.12.3 manufactured timbers. And manufactured timbers means that it's made from leftover wood such as sawdust and wood chippings. And they can be made into large sheets rather than being restricted to the size of a tree trunk. And they are used in low cost furniture. Plywood are a layers of veneer glued at 90 degrees for the strength and the aesthetically pleasing outer layer. And description is that a tree trunk is sliced into thin layers called veneer, and these layers are glued together in 90 degree, which, which is like the, with the grain lines go in alternate directions to provide stability. And advantage is that it's flat and structurally strong, and its, uh, and its surface looks like wood, and it's resistant to warping, cracking, and twisting. Disadvantage is that it's expensive and the edges look rough, uh, sorry, rough and want to damage if the wrong grade is used. And applications could be building and furniture that need some strength. MDF or medium density fiberboard is smooth, light, brown and can be veneered as it, look, as it doesn't look that good. 
and they are basically the wood dust and fibers are mixed with glue and pressed into flat sheets under extreme heat and pressure. Advantage is that it's smooth, good for painting and staining, and it's easy to machine or work with. This advantage should be it absorbs moisture and is not for outdoor use, just like beech wood, and it's weak compared to plywood. For example, the applications could be cheap uh, flat pack furniture, wall panels, and display cabinets. Then lastly, I have 1.12.4, the properties of timbers. Hardness is ability of a material to withstand cutting and scratching. And timber is generally quite a soft material as it can be easily scratched and cut with metal tools. And oak is quite hard for a wood and the balsa is very soft for a wood, or more specifically hardwood. And this should not be confused with the classification of trees as hardwoods or softwoods. And toughness is the ability of material to withstand being hit. And a tough material can be quite soft but, and might bend and deform when hit, but not break. And timber is quite a tough material. If you hit it with a hammer, it may dent, but not break. So it's a key concept to know here. And durability is the ability of material to last for a long time. And timber that has been dried out and is kept dry is durable. Because there's lots of moisture or water inside a non-dried out timber, so the timber will be easily eroded. And oak beams in old buildings can be hundreds of years old. However, that the, the, uh, the wood that is left wet can rot quite quickly and then it won't be very durable. Some timbers contain natural oils that make them durable outside. And timber can be treated with uh, preservatives to make it more durable for outside use or like any finishes. And that's it for this 1.12 Timbers content for the core content, which is Timbers. And I hope you guys found it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or criticisms. And also check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace.